weather changes frequently. Some days are hot and sunny. Other days, it may be a little cloudy or windy. Weather can be defined as the condition of the atmosphere at a particular place and time. The weather can be hot, cold, cloudy, dry, windy or humid and generally keeps changing. A similar kind of weather in a particular place over a long period of time is called climate. The sun The sun which is the center of our solar system is the weather maker. Air pressure is the weight of air as experienced from all directions on land. When air heats up, it rises and creates an area of low pressure on the earth's surface. The surrounding cool air moves in to replace this rising air. This air comes from areas where the pressure is high. This movement of air from high pressure area to low pressure area causes wind. During the mornings and evenings, the sun being low in the sky, its rays fall on the earth in a slanting way. So, the mornings and evenings are cool. By noon, the sun is overhead and its rays fall directly on the earth, which is why it is the hottest part of the day. Thus, it is generally hotter at noon than in the mornings and evenings. The higher the temperature, the hotter it is, and the lower the temperature, the cooler it is. The places on the equator and close to it receive direct sun rays and maximum heat. The farther a place is from the equator, the lesser heat it receives from the sun. Air Our earth is surrounded by air. We cannot see it, but we can feel it. All living things need air to breathe. We can live without food and water for some time, but we cannot live without air even for a few seconds. We need clean and pure air to breathe. Air is a mixture of gases. The main gases are nitrogen, oxygen and carbon dioxide. The layer of air that surrounds the earth is called atmosphere. Life is possible on earth only because of its atmosphere. It is the atmosphere which protects the earth from the harmful rays of the sun. It also balances the temperature of the earth. Without it, we would experience temperature ranges from minus 190 degrees Celsius to 110 degrees Celsius between night and day. Due to the uneven heating of air in different regions of the earth and the formation of water vapor, changes take place in the atmosphere. This causes movement of air. Warm air rises up and creates a region of low pressure. Cold winds from regions of high pressure rush in to fill the vacuum. Land Breeze Unlike land, water absorbs and releases heat much slowly. So, 
in the night when the land is cooler than the sea the air above the sea rises and cool breeze from the land blows over the sea this is called land breeze sea breeze land absorbs and cools faster than the sea post afternoon when the earth releases heat the hot air from the land rises and cool humid air from the sea blows towards the land these are called sea breezes water the total amount of water found on earth never changes it just moves from place to place and from one state to another in a continuous process so it is called a water cycle water evaporates from the sea ponds and lakes due to the heat of the sun it rises up and forms clouds clouds move due to the wind we get rain from the clouds rain water gets collected in rivers and flows to the seas and oceans this is a continuous process it goes on dust is very very important because if there were no dust there would be no rain the water vapor is a gas it needs something to condense on so it condenses on small particles such as dust and smoke humidity the amount of water vapor in the air determines the humidity of a place if it is hot the air can hold more water vapor or moisture so even though we sweat when it is hot we are not uncomfortable as the sweat evaporates from the body but when the air cannot hold any more water vapor the humidity is nearly 100% that is when we feel uncomfortable because sweat does not evaporate into the air and we feel wet and sticky do you know deserts form in places where humidity is low while the rain forest grow in places where humidity is very very high about 3/4 part of our earth also called the blue planet is covered with water this water is present as fresh water sea water and brackish water water must be purified before use here are some methods of water purification boiling when water is boiled for about 20 minutes the germs present in it are killed boiled water must be then stored in clean vessels and bottles it is advisable to use boiled water for drinking purpose sedimentation the natural process by which insoluble impurities in a liquid mixture settle down to the bottom forming a solid layer is defined as sedimentation if the mixture of soil and water is stirred and left undisturbed for a few hours then the soil particles start settling down slowly at the bottom of the vessel 
it is only when the water is clear that the process of sedimentation is complete. The solid impurities that settle down at the bottom of the vessel are called the sediments. Decantation The process of draining of the partially clear liquid after sedimentation is called decantation. During decantation, it is important to leave behind a small amount of liquid in the container in order to prevent the sediment from flowing out of the container and getting mixed up with the clear liquid. The water that collects over the layer of impurities during sedimentation can be separated by draining it into another beaker by decantation. Chlorination Adding certain chemicals to water to kill germs is called chlorination. Chlorination is frequently used especially in big water tanks and swimming pools. However, chlorine water is also likely to cause some skin-related diseases and thus has certain disadvantages. Filtration These days, most people make use of filters to strain or filter out impurities in water. When water is passed through the filter, the impurities present in it stick to the filter candle, thereby letting clean water pass through. 